Hello everybody and welcome, you're watching Dave Playing Games. My name is Dave and I am playing The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Last time out we used some pro cat school skills to infiltrate the fort at Crow's Perch and now we've had a chat with the Baron he's told us that Ciri was in fact here and in order for us to get any information on it we need to go and help him find his family and he'll give us all the information he's got. Simplicity itself so I just need to use my Witcher senses in some of their bedrooms to find out exactly what might have happened to them and where they've gone. When she was a babe my daughter loved animals. D damn it! Jammed again! Bed chamber. Tamara's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. I mean, he's explicitly told us to leave everything as we found it, but... And... Hello? Something's been removed from here. Wall's a different colour. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size that painting here okay let's have a little look the Baron and his wife <laughs> look happy enough what's this ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole and what's on the other side indeed what is on the other side if only we could just walk around the little wall and aha it was a wardrobe all along gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I will look for clues. It's all coming to light now. There was a scrap. Maybe they left because... <gasps> Maybe he killed them and now he's blocking out their memories because he can't deal with the grief of what he's done. And... Wow. Actually... To be fair, this looks... This is a complete mess. How do we not notice this as soon as we walked in the room? Huh. Rest of the candlestick and wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle from Toussaint. Yeah, Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Hopefully not to Toussaint. I think that would be quite far away. Oh, oh, there's more stuff. Oh, it's the... Is that... Is that supposed to be the... Sp it's the smell. Right, just gonna follow the smell out through the door. It's a very strong scent. It leads me all the way downstairs. Damn, trail breaks off. Could find something else, though. A talisman. Mm, spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? What indeed. So let's go and talk to Philip Strenger and see exactly what he knows about this odd talisman that's been hidden under a floorboard. And also why the entire place stinks of wine. Done poking around. So... Let's just talk about this amulet first. I think that's going to be less incendiary. Recognize this amulet? Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Okay, so it definitely wasn't Kira then. Fine. If we just continue asking about the wine... Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads, must be. Lush is one and all. Give your men hair Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Okay, then I'm gonna have to ask the obvious question. The one that I wanted to avoid. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night... I was drunk, don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing, not a one of them. Okay. 
Have you tried using Witcher bullshit on them? I'm sure I can mind control them into telling me something. I'll go and speak to them. But maybe I should go and speak to this Pella as well, as they can give me some sort of inference on what this talisman was all about. I want to have a chat with this Pella. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumour has it, he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and ploughs his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies, just want to ask about the amulet. So, off to go and speak to the goat shagging axe murdering Pella. After continuing to steal literally everything I can find in this fort. Incense. And an old key. Wonder what it unlocks. I feel that was important. Oh, there's more smell, there's more smell. Let's follow the smell on our way out. It appears to lead into here. Wait, this is this is where I came from. No. No, this isn't the right place. Who would have thought following a smell would be so difficult? And to be fair, constantly walking around is probably wafting it. It's probably not helping. Well, bring out the gimp. I think the gimp's sleeping. Well, I guess you'll just have to go wake him up now, won't you? Um, what? Ooh, a storeroom. Oh my god, a storeroom. Look at all these lootable items. Oh, this is like Christmas. Witcher Christmas. Well, I can celebrate Witcher Christmas later. There's yet more smell wafting down the corridor. Let's go down to this here door and see what's behind it. Uh, in a minute. Because there's <gasps> more lootable items. Pop through this door, presumably with the key that we just found. Convenient, if I do say so myself. And let's see where this smells coming from. Probably this dodgy looking shrine. Truly, I am a master detective. Right, examine the incense bowl. An altar. So, the eternal fires made it to Velen. Ah. Uh, I don't want to make assumptions, but eternal fire and a shrine sound suspicious and possibly a little bit culty. I could be in for some trouble here. Another faction of people that want to stab me in the face, no doubt. And a note, a prayer. Eternal fire which lighteth our hearts and giveth us light. Heat us with thy warmth, dry our tears, burn our foes. Embrace our friends in thy care. Give my mother health, punish my father, help me fulfill my destiny. That's um, oddly specific. Indeed, if that was Tamara, then maybe she feels like her father needs punishing for something. And with the mother needing protecting, possibly the fact that he was in a drunken rage. Maybe he did murder her. <gasps> maybe I was right. Okay, no more distractions for today. Let's go and speak to the goat shagger. We need to see what he's got to say about the matter because he might give us some real insight. As much as I'm loving speculating about things I've got no idea about, I think it's fair to say my fantastical accusations are getting us nowhere. This is going to require us going back to what is rapidly becoming my favourite hotspot, Black Bow. And a short horse ride brings us to the Pella's hut. Uh, oh. Oh. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. Ha. Huh. Okay. So apparently I'm not good enough at my signs to try and convince them to leave. So I can either offer to pay them, or I could just do what I usually do, muck everything up and have a fight. But first let's find out what they want. What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured augurys. Said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries, lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse. Um. okay. Well, now it's giving me the option to try and do some witchy healing. Just so happens I need the Peller alive. So if you agree to leave him alone, for good, I'm willing to tell you how to help Edric. Who the hell do you think you are? A witcher. A witcher? Hear that, boys? Either Velen's got a bumper crop of witches, or this is the bastard who cut down our boys at the crossroads! Not your lucky day. So, fight it is. Okie dokie, never mind. I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to kill all of you guys. The Baron's going to be really upset with me. Edric's friends all worked up. Luckily for me, I'm a competent witcher fighter, and there was never any doubt who was going to win that scrap. Hey, 
Anybody home? I need your help. Ooh, a man. Nay, a wolf. Grey, though not old. Tis he the pillar awaits. Well, he's mental as well. Recognize this. Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper. Designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth smoke and juniper. For Anna. To protect her. So, designed to protect her. From what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Uh... Listen, can you help me find her or not? I'm trying to find her and her daughter so that they can go back to Crow's Perch and then the Baron will tell me all about Siri and everything will be wonderful. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the augering? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. I'm really starting to dislike this person. Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell. The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. You have a new quest item. Prepare it for use by placing it in an appropriate slot in the inventory panel. Then selecting it from the quick access, but this is very complicated. Luckily it appears to already be on my hotbar, so... How do I use it? I probably should have paid attention to the tutorial. Aha! Randomly pressing buttons has helped me, I just need to tap RB. So the right bumper will get me some goat action, so that's brilliant. But first I need to find the goat. Where oh where could this little princess have gotten to? And oh of course, this is going to be wolves isn't it? And oh, I hear bleating. I hear bleating, which means there's a goat nearby. There you are. Here, goat. Here, princess. This is joyous news. I found the goat. Hoofed and horned. Should have known it would be stubborn. Right, so... Come on, let's go see the peller. This is going to go fantastically. I've got the goat, then we can do the auguries and everything will be fine. Wait, where are you, where are you going? Should've Come back. Should have missed as much. What's a witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? Come on, damn it. This way, your grace. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Keep coming. Wait, that sounded like two. Is there another goat here? Have I got the wrong goat? No, 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 no. Come back. No, come back. Go? Alpha. No, come back, come back, come back. <sighs> bear, bear, run, you stupid piece of shit. I won't lie, that bear was easy to kill with my first one. And now there's no bear in the cave, I'm going to have a little investigate. Anything interesting in here? No, just a lot of mushrooms. It's kind of hoping for <gasps> a chest. And that definitely wasn't worth it. That wasn't worth it at all. Is there is there at least anything else in here? Ooh. That might be good. Yes indeed, this looks very nice after all. So a great big critical hit damage boost, some more adrenaline point gain, still gives bonus experience. This could come in very handy indeed. Unfortunately, it does require me to be level 34, which is a long, long, long way away, but I'll keep that just in case. And for some reason I hadn't noticed I'd found this as well. Also requires me to be quite a high level, but looks quite nice all the same. Anyway, apparently there's this goat that I should be helping get back to the Pella, so I should probably do that. I've probably lost him again, I'm like, where's the goat? Princess! Aha! Found you. Right. 
Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? There we go. We are approaching the Pella's hut. This has gone surprisingly well. Okay, buddy, I brought your girlfriend. Now can you do the auguries or whatever? Goat of mine! Dearest, sweetest goat! So, I'm glad you're enjoying your goat again, but, um... Happy for you, but I'm kinda in a hurry. Anna and Tamara, they might be in danger. The white wolf helped the Pella. And so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. I mean, there's a perfectly good goat there. Will this do? She miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for Hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you. You must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. So it's starting to look like maybe the Baron had something to do with his family's disappearance after all. Indeed, he could have scared them off or I'm still going with potentially murdered. However, there is now a third missing person in this family that we need to investigate. What happened to the child? In a grave throne. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf, wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. So now there is a monster living somewhere that we need to go and find. And we can either lift its curse and make everything all better and happy again, or we could just stab the little swine in the face and bring his blood. However, there's a very important question here. How do I lift the curse? Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. I mean, that sounds like the better thing to do. I should probably try and do that. Also, where does this botchling reside now? Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Brilliant, so we've had a little chat with the Pella, and now we need to go back and speak to Strenger. Lightning strike? Ah, okay. Um, I was gonna say, so that brings us back to Crow's Perch. Which, uh, if we could just take a moment to enjoy the beautiful sunset. Unfortunately, um, the place appears to be a bit on fire. Excuse me, peasant, can you help explain what's going on with the fire? <sighs> Why do I feel like I'm going to have to fix this? Yes, yes, everybody can see it's on fire. And I probably could have fixed it a whole lot quicker if the fast travel location was somewhere inside Crow's Perch rather than right outside the moat. Oswin? Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. 
Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. Fine, I'll do it. Oh, see what I can do. Hurry now, quick! Right, so... If I... Fight fire with fire? No, that didn't help at all, did it? Damn it. Old Budge. Probably bolted on the inside. Need another way in. I can't seem to get in through that door. Unless... Maybe that didn't help. Shit. Fire spreading. I wonder why. Okay, right. So, let's pop up this here ladder. Although it's very, very <laughs> flamey up here too. Gotta hurry. Okay, okay, I'm gonna run out of breath here. Okay, I might, I might just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I could have gone better. Right, let's go back there and do this again, but this time not suffocate to death. Up the ladder we go once again, and this time, this time we try and do it a little bit quicker. Precisely, am I supposed to escape this? Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. Right. So I've half done the job. So how am I supposed to open that door? Well, now we've caught our breath. Let's try and go in there again. Over here. Can't get out. Roof collapsed. Aha. We found our way through. Fantastic! Right, we've we've done it. We've we've saved everyone. Ha 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 ha! We've a hero in our midst. The horses. Why, I'm prepared to forgive you the drubbing you gave those pricks at the crossroads. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Um. Oh, oh! This was—I was not prepared for this. I was not prepared for this. They ran from you, didn't they? Lying trick! Okay, okay. I'm, 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 I'm being beaten up by the Baron. This is not ideal. Oh! How hard did he punch me? Surrender. Well, that went better. <laughs> we need to talk. Yet further proof that Geralt is not the conventional hero. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Sure, that's, uh, that's justification for domestic violence. Sure, she made me do it. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? I mean, to be fair, now I know the truth and I've just beaten you in a fist fight. Um, so, kind of the one that I think you are now? Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. Seems I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. 
Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. So sad. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a ploughing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, but Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenceless, on bloody sheets, dead. And it was my doing. And so the Bloody Baron becomes more and more of a knob as this conversation goes along. So, whilst I do sympathise a little bit, a miscarriage is a horrible thing to happen to anyone, I do really rather callously need to find out what you did with it. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with a child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. And apparently your helmet is haunted. Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. <laughs> Mutations worked then. But here's the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking... what? Um, You probably wouldn't be capable of understanding, just go with it. Details you don't need to know. There's a bond of blood between this creature and your wife and daughter. I can use that bond to find them. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob, a guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? Bit less happy ending. We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. Need to tend to something first. Be quick. And me? What am I to do in the meantime? Sober up. So we've chatted to the Baron and we've explained what we've learnt. It seems that we're going to have to go and dig up this baby corpse demon monster so as to try and lift its curse and use it to find what remains of the Baron's family. All that said, a ritual is going to take some time and all of that is something we can look forward to next week. If you've enjoyed this video, stick a like on the video for me and be sure to subscribe to the channel. These videos go up every single Friday, so get your weekend Witcher fix here on Dave Playing Games. As this quest draws to a horrifying conclusion, I I really hope you're looking forward to finding out what happens next, just as much as I'm looking forward to doing it myself. All that coming up next week, but in the meantime, take care of yourselves. Ta-ra.